Yo, what up guys, it's Rhythm, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys a new combo. Uh, I'm using a new mic, so I might sound a little bit different. My old one broke, so I'm using a Blue Yeti now. So uh, tell me, you know, how you guys like it. Uh, but anyways, back to the combo. Pretty much what the combo is, is it's behind enemy lines and overwhelm at the same time. And uh, you gotta have enough attack speed for this. Uh, it seems to only work really if you have three stacks of Inspire and uh, an Odachi buff. So as you can see, I'm gonna do it right here. Boom, both of them at the same time, you do a ton of damage. Um, now, sometimes I've seen where it doesn't always work. You'll see in my next fight, not this fight, but next fight, I do it and it just doesn't work. He parries both of them, which I don't know how, but I have some idea how. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but anyways, this might not even be the best option to do. I wouldn't always use behind enemy lines with uh, Overwhelm. The reason I like doing it sometimes is because behind enemy lines is sometimes hard to hit. Uh, due to like latency and lag and all that good stuff. It's sometimes hard to hit so you can't always You know anticipate that you're gonna hit him with behind enemy lines and uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but behind enemy lines does a lot of damage So if you can somehow perfect hitting him with behind enemy lines all the time, it's a lot of damage Anyways, I think I get him again with the combo so we can see it in action again. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of Dark Runners do it. Like, I, I don't think I've seen a Dark Runner do it, actually. But then again, I can only judge it from live streams. So, some of you guys might have been doing this. It's pretty simple, it's an easy combo. So, I'm assuming someone else is you know, doing it. I just haven't really seen anybody. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying out new things in Arena because I have that weapon. But, uh, Arena's is really. You see a lot of the same people nowadays. You don't really see new people. You know, I don't see a variety. It just kind of sucks. I wish I had cross server um, stuff. Uh, but this guy, you'll, I'll show you right now, I do mess up the combo and it's just. I kind of have a feeling I know why it missed, but uh. But like I said, you gotta have the right amount of attack speed with it. Maybe with a dagger, you could get, you know, the, the, the attack speed, but. I'm starting to see a lot of paladins, man. I never, never used to see paladins, and now. Paladins. See right here. He parried both of them. I have no idea how. Uh, maybe my behind enemy lines hit in front of him or something. I don't know, but I, I think that was just really lucky of him. But, but yeah, paladins, man, they're tough. Paladins and blighters is what I've been seeing a lot lately. And whereas blighters, not so much. Like I don't really have a problem with it. But paladins, man, pat a good paladin can you know knock my ass on my feet or on my on my ass. I didn't even say that right, that was, that was retarded. But anyways, like, paladins, dude, like, they're just, they do a lot. Uh, the only paladin I used to ever see was the B-Bag. B-Bag just always whooped my ass. But now, I'm starting to see more and more paladins. It's a good class, really good class. And I think now with the obsidian weapons, they're really good because of the short spear. See, sometimes you can hit like that, like, it was right on him. He, he blocked it, because he did a redoubt, but still. Just, I noticed that a lot of people don't really hit uh, behind enemy lines right, and it's not because they're bad or anything, but it's just it's a hard ability to hit. See, I missed right there. Yeah, then he got me in that fight. Paladin, they gave me they gave me a rough time. Lately, it's been paladins and anybody with witchcraft. So like, not necessarily shadow blades, but I would say like dagger spells. Yeah, definitely dagger spells. Dagger spells. Um, I can't really think off the top of my head, but anything with witchcraft is, is pretty rough for me. But honestly, I haven't seen a lot of dagger spells in arena lately. It's mostly just like, like I said, I don't see a variety anymore. It's just the same class over and over. Then again, these are queuing at you know specific times of the day. Maybe different times of the day would be a variety. I think this is actually the last fight. Next video I do for Arcage, guys, I'm going to uh, do what everybody's asking for. I'm going to do the 55 build, and I'm going to show you guys kind of like the new abilities added in to the combo. So uh, I think you guys are really excited for that. Because now we have behind enemy lines. We got the, the what is it, the teleport sideways thing, mirror warp or whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, we got that ability. So we have a lot of good stuff now. Um, I, know, I don't really play with Dagger Throw, or whatever it's called, but uh, it's not a bad ability. But I will show you guys in my next Arcade video, I will show you guys the build. 
Um, so be ready for that. These are some good fights though, I like these. I seem to tank a lot more than I used to. I don't have really good gear. Uh, well that's the end of that guys. Tell me how this combo works for you, if you guys have been using it or not. Tell me in the description or the comments down below. But uh, yeah, please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!